In today's news, teen charged and granted bail in stabbing death. West Indies and local cricketing legends honored at inaugural gold jacket ceremony. Visor Eyes Junior Hockey League. Vendors lament little activity despite frequent cruise ship arrivals. And Tyron Thomas reacts to seven Grammy nominations. Our viewers, these are more stories when 2 it for News returns. Hun, it's asking for your password. Huh? You were logged out. I need the password. Oh, uh, uh, B R. What's the rest? Um, B R A N D I, the number four, E D E R? Who's Brandy? We're like the password that isn't your ex girlfriend's name. CG Insurance. Good like that. I should have changed it. You should have. You're, you're right. That's out. That's six. That's out. Worldwide medical coverage and affordable premiums. We're like a home match that isn't played at your actual home. CG Insurance. Good like that. My turn. Oh, come on, guys. Well, welcome, viewers, to the Wednesday, December 7th edition of Twit4 News. I am Kamal Haynes, bringing you the latest out of the British Virgin Islands. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. While leading today's newscast, a teenager has been charged and granted bail in relation to the recent stabbing death of 23-year-old Naib Clark. The Royal Virgin Islands Police Force gave the confirmation in a recent media release following the incident which occurred last weekend, where they said, and I quote, well, one minor has been charged with manslaughter in relation to the recent stabbing incident in Virgin Gorda on December 3, 2022. He appeared before the magistrate's court and was granted bail in the amount of $70,000 with one surety. He will return to court in January 2023, end quote. An initial report from the police indicated that Clark succumbed to his injuries after being stabbed on the sister island on Saturday evening. But more to come as this story continues to develop. Well, moving on, viewers, we are West Indies cricket legends El Comendo Willett and Dr. Sir Anderson Roberts, along with local cricket legends Brent DeFreitas and Maxford Pipe, were honored by the Leeward Islands Cricket Board during their inaugural Gold Jacket Award ceremony held at the Moorings on Tuesday. Cricket dignitaries, inclusive of the president of the Leeward Islands Cricket Board, Enoch Lewis, president of Cricket West Indies, Ricky Scarrett, President of the BVI Cricket Association, Vajendra Bharat, and Director of Cricket USVI were all present at the ceremony that also saw Premier Dr. The Honorable Natalia Wheatley among the speakers. Al Comedo Willett and Dr. Sir Anderson Roberts became the first two recipients of a gold jacket to honor their many accomplishments while playing for the West Indies and the Leeward Islands cricket teams during their playing careers. But the career highlights of DeFreitas and Pipe were also on display as the two received awards for their contribution to the Leeward Islands cricket team during their playing days. While speaking during the ceremony, President of the Leeward Islands Cricket Board, Mr. Lewis, said the Gold Jacket Award Ceremony is an initiative to honor Leeward Islands cricketing legends while they are still alive. I am elated and I hope that we are collectively enthused by the proactive action of the LICB to introduce the Gold Jacket Award Ceremony. This initiative, which is expected to be an annual event, has presented us with the golden opportunity to recognize, applaud, highlight, and celebrate our legends. El Comido and Andy, in this instance, while they are still part of us. El Comido in 1973 and Andy in 1974 as the first and second Leeward Island players to have played test cricket for the West Indies, certainly opened the eyes of the cricketing world as to the exciting talent available in the Leeward Islands. Well, Lewis also said that by the BVI being the first to hold this annual event, it will be forever remembered as the territory that set the standard for the other seven territories of the Leeward Island Cricket Association to follow. The plan is to hold this event annually. Each of the eight territories that make up the LICB will be provided with the opportunity to play host 
to the event. Obviously, the BVI will forever be identified as the first source, and we are most grateful to President Barrett and his team for delivering the ceremony at the gold standard we are experiencing this evening. President Lewis also expressed that his board has a strong interest in cricket in the BVI and hopes that such an initiative can help push this sport in the direction to have locals representing the West Indies team in years to come. My hope is that our presence here tonight will serve to demonstrate to all concerned that we at the LICD have a strong interest in BVI cricket. Equally, we trust that as a byproduct, both corporate BVI and the government will be inspired to support BVI cricket and its cricketers so that, like your neighbor, St. Martin, BVI can one day produce cricketers that gain selection to see them like teams and in so doing, go the island sports tourism sector. Well, meanwhile, Premier and Minister of Finance, Dr. Wheatley, said he sees cricket making a resurgence in the BVI. I know the Virgin Islands was a place where cricket was a sport that was very, very popular. Back in the days of people like Ralph O'Neill and persons like that. Back in the days where persons like my, my parents and grandparents, everyone here was very strong with cricket. And of course, in, in modern times, um, among Virgin Islanders, you have other sports which have become more popular like uh, softball and basketball, etc. But I see cricket making a real resurgence here in the Virgin Islands. Not just persons who come from, who've come from other places uh, in the Caribbean and in the world, but we see now a, a homegrown talent developing among the young people in the schools, etc. And for me, it's very encouraging. And events like this, I believe, are important in recognizing the significance of cricket and propelling it right in the society. Well, Dr. Wheatley, who is also the former Minister for Sports, pledged his support towards the BVI Cricket Association as the Premier and Minister of Finance to further cricket in the territory. And certainly, I was very happy to have you know, met with the Cricket Association a number of times when I was a Minister of Sport. And while I'm in the capacity as, as Premier and Minister of Finance, I also will be very supportive of the Cricket Association. And certainly, we've discussed plans to advance cricket here in the Virgin Islands. And I'm very supportive of those, those plans. And I'm looking forward to see cricket advance more. And of course, we want to get to the stage. We have in, individuals who have done very significant things, uh, like the Brent, for instance, who can help inspire us to even greater heights in the Virgin Islands. Well, moving on viewers, where Virgin Islands Search and Rescue has changed some minds on the topic of ice skating in the Caribbean over the past three years, with its winter wonderland at the Cerro B. Romney Tortolo Pier Park. Advisors Operations Manager Phil Aspinall notes the activity as a success with scalable potential. Really, really surprised at how many of the, of the Virgin Islanders here can skate. Mm -hmm. They've got family in the States, they visit New York and these other places and they've skated on real ice. So it's, uh, that was really refreshing to find out. We thought it would all be a huge new event to everybody, but mm -hmm. um, it turned out that there are many, many people that can skate here. There are quite a lot of Canadians here who are Canadian hockey players, not professionally, but um, they, they play it back home. And um, the sad thing is that the ring is not quite big enough because we, we envisaged hockey matches and stuff and teaching the kids to play hockey. Well, Aspinall noted that the possibility of such a development coming into fruition depends heavily on the support that Visa receives from the public. To this end, he envisions a junior ice hockey league for the children of the BVI. 
And if we raise enough money and we've got some surplus, then we can add some more tiles here and make it a bit bigger next year. And then uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have hockey competitions and a hockey league. And, um, and we'll have the schools get together and form a team. And these guys have said they'll train them. So uh, they just need a bit more room because last year they were down here. And, and I see why. By the time they've got up to full speed, they've got to put the brakes on because they're already at the other end, you know. So uh, they do need a bigger rink, you know. So... Um, so if we can, if we can uh, provide that for them, then I think it'll be more fun. Well, members of the public are encouraged to visit Visor's Winter Wonderland throughout the month of December from 5 p.m. daily and try out their ice skating rink. Well, up next, viewers, vendors lament little activity despite frequent cruise ship arrivals. And T. Ron Thomas reacts to seven Grammy nominations. With these and more stories, after a word from our sponsors. Choose your mix, choose your flavor. Good job there, brother. All right. I'm surprised you're here. I'm surprised you're still alive. Charles, it's been 60 years. I wish it was 60 more. Let it go. No. You know what you did. <laughs> it was just ice cream. But you know what? It was delicious. What? We're like a family get-together without all the family drama. What you gonna do? CG Insurance. Good like that. Yeah, eh, eh, eh. Father Jesus, that learn you along like church service. Hmm. All right, let me enjoy the rest of the day. Next customer in line, please. Wait, hold on a second. Yes, Sonny Boy, come yes, Sonny. Good morning. Good morning, Sonny Boy. You must have hot fun, Tapi. It's okay, it's okay. I'll take care of it. What? No, no man, take care of me. How oh, may I assist you? Yes, <laughs> You want a top of Eh? You want a top of power? Eh? Join a prepaid party with CCT and enjoy more affordable data plans, more top-up promotions, more savings with hero bundles, and more value for your money each and every Tuesday with Top-Up Turn-Up Tuesday. Visit a CCT store today or anywhere CCT top-up is sold and top-up your phone. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you want top-up power? Eh? Well, welcome back, viewers. But a frequent arrival of cruise ships to Tortola and the hundreds of visitors seen roaming about the island daily are evidence of the return of cruise ship activity to the territory. But while the visuals are appealing, do they signify a resurgence of tourism activity at all levels? What 284 Media took to Craft Alive this week to find out how, if in any way, this resurgence have been to the benefit of the vendors. More in this report. The initial effects of the COVID-19 pandemic were far-reaching, touching most, if not every sector in a significant way and affecting the livelihoods of those involved in each sector. Due to travel restrictions bringing global travel to a staggering halt at one point, tourism has been noted as one of the most affected sectors by the pandemic, with persons at every level of the tourism industry feeling the pinch. In the BVI, the absence of incoming tourist arrivals, particularly via cruise ship, took a considerable toll on vendors located at Craft Alive, who rely on sales to the roaming visitors to make their daily bread. The cruise ships are back, with several docking in Tortola every week, bringing in thousands of tourists. But are the vendors seeing any resurgence of activity at their booths as a result? We took to Craft Alive to ask them ourselves. Here's what they had to say. Well, with turn on, but the ship them coming, the people them passing, just looking, they're not shopping like before, how them customers shopping. But we still thank God, them coming, you know, we see them, we trust and believe soon, things will be better. We, we're not getting sale. I don't know for those in front, but to the back here, we hardly see the people. When they pass, they go down that way. And when they're going back now, we see them. Last 
Quite a week before last week, two boats come. And I would tell you, I make a dollar. So it's really bad for us in here. It's really slow. Sometimes you see the ship come, you don't see the people them. Sometimes when you talk to them, they say they don't even know about craft of life. It's past their passings. So a lot of them don't know about craft of life. All they know about the pier park. So it's not really easy in craft of life right now. The, 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 the tourists they need to get some kind of sign or somebody in um, by pier park mm -hmm. to let them know that there is a craft of life because Many of them come and they say they didn't know you have a place here selling th stuff. Well, the return of the cruise ships um, before me, sometimes you might get a little sail, and at times you don't get any sail at all. But I am not giving up. I believe in the God. God is a God that always helped us, you know. You don't you never give up and, and on God because he will, you will succeed. So I always continue going, doing my utmost to, with my husband with me, he always welcomed the, 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 the tourists. He always tell them, have a good day, enjoy your stay. So we, we are a of people, but we don't give up. While vendors are not yet seeing the true resurgence of activity as yet, there is no doubt that the beauty of the territory will continue to attract the necessary tourism traffic necessary for continued healing of the tourism sector. Testament to this were comments from one visitor we met browsing Craft Alive that day. First of all, let me, um, let me uh, state categorically that I am from the beautiful Twin Isle of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, this is my first visit to Tortola BVI. Um, I did not come on the cruise ship. I came in yesterday from Antigua. I came for a cricket function here on the, on, uh, the great legendary Sir Andy, Sir Andy Roberts and El Comido Willett, um, together with Mr. Bridget Freitas and Mr. Pipe. Uh, I was here last night and today I'm taking this opportunity to walk around and view the, 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 what, the, what Tortola has to offer. Um, as regards to, it's a, it looks like a very beautiful island, real laid back, real clean, I must say. Looks very well kept. I must give kudos to the Premier, um, Mr. Nathaniel, for a wonderful job that him and his government is doing to keep this island so pristine. Vendors have expressed the need for more targeted initiatives to direct visitors into Craft Alive and drive them in the area, giving vendors throughout the facility greater opportunity to land sales. At the moment, it is a consensus that the perceived benefits of the return of cruise ship tourism are not being felt all around. For Tweet for News, I am Jaka Whitting. Well, thank you, Jaka. Well, USVI native award-winning songwriter and producer Tyrone Thomas is ending 2022 with a bang, having recently learned that he is nominated in seven categories for the upcoming 65th Grammy Awards. But 24 News caught up with him this week on this notable achievement. I mean, the morning of the nominations, you know, I was paying attention because uh, this year is the first time they have a songwriter at a year award. And I really wanted to be nominated for that. So okay. as I was looking and I was looking at the names and my name didn't pop up for that. So if you're watching the video, you're going to see me like, man, you know, and um, did the nominations just keep coming. Like, I was like, wait, we nominated for this, we nominated for this, we nominated for this. You know, um, Lato get a nomination, obviously, for Big Energy, and that was exciting. And, you know, we just hit seven, and I was like, man, God is so good. I, I was so grateful. And if anybody that know me, I ain't really a big, like, celebrator. I always like to play, like, I 20 points behind in the game. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, I did. You know, I really do. And um, so I called my wife and I was like, yo, I, I want to celebrate. And for me, my celebration was I take my wife and kids and my mother and mother-in-law to a fancy restaurant. And, yes. and I post those pictures as well. <laughs> and we went out yes, to eat did. and we laughed and we had a good time. And, and that, was, that was as big as my celebration got. All viewers, remember to stay tuned to 284 Media on Facebook. 284media.com and CCT Live for the full interview with T-Ron at 8 p.m. on Thursday, December 8th. 
Well, up next, viewers, St. George's primary reigns in the holidays. A network of Caribbean chambers uh, meeting in Grenada. And Carrots DLP, as Carrots, sorry, DLP retains uh, leadership of Dominica. We get to those stories when Twit 4 News return. So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it would read his mind. There's the answer, Cole. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Introducing a show poised to help guide modern-day men into 21st century distinguished gentlemen. It doesn't always involve suits and bow ties, but raw, real-life lessons. I'm taking you outside in the field to share the journey of some of the BBI's the best and brightest men. From East End to West End, Virgin Guara to Joss Van Dyke, not forgetting Anigara. Our Virgin Islands gentlemen are doing the damn thing. We are the movers and shakers of this generation. The art of a distinguished gentleman. Season 4 by yours truly, Ron Grant. Raising a generation of greatness. Wednesdays at 8 p.m. on 284 Media. Yo, everything good, Dad? Why? This thing got me one way, Daddy. What do you mean? Ever since I hook up with this thing, I can't eat, I can't sleep. This is the first thing I touch it when I reach home. What do you mean? Hey, this thing like you, you know? Dad, this thing got me staying home, keeping out that trouble me. Wow. What's your name is? She? I talk about my CCT life. Don't worry about missing your favorite series, sports, news, and local programming. Come to CCT today and sign up for CCT Live to access over 80 channels. CCT Live, bring it home. One month free trial, turn into five. Five months turn into, well, you know I huff. I watch him ball. I even watch him football. Dad, Nickelodeon, Paw Patrol. I am hook. Hook, I tell you. Well, welcome back, viewers, and thank you so much for sticking with us. Well, the St. George's Primary School reigned in the holiday spirit on Tuesday with a Christmas at Chavaganza, which featured performances from its talented young students who shared the Christmas spirit and reminded what the holiday is truly all about. Well, here are some moments from that activity. Christmas is a time we share. It brings joy and happiness to so all. C. C for the Christ child born that night to be our light. H. H is for Woody, is his name. R. R is for the joy of the gladness and joy. I. I is for Israel, the holy land, the birthplace of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.
moving on to some regional news where Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt and the Dominica Labour Party have retained leadership of Dominica following the December 6th general election. But while the country's main opposition political parties chose to boycott the general election, leaving the DLP with six se uh, seats already secured ahead of voting, two independent candidates rose to the occasion and were successful in securing their spot in the House of Assembly. Oscarette, who has been Prime Minister of Dominica since 2004, welcomed the election results as evidence that the people of Dominica are confident in the leadership of the DLP. But he has also lauded voter turnout for the election, calling it exceptional following the results. Well, viewers, that's it for today's news roundup. Be sure to follow us for daily news updates at 284media.com. And like us on Facebook at 284media and 284BVI on Instagram and Twitter. I'm Kamal Haynes, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a safe and enjoyable evening. Bye-bye. Hun, it's asking for your password. Huh? You were logged out. I need the password. Oh, uh, uh, B-R... What's the rest? Um, B-R-A-N-D-I, the number four, E-D-E-R? Who's Brandy? We're like the password that isn't your ex-girlfriend's name. CG Insurance. Good like that. I should have changed it. You should have. You're, you're right.